Hello everyone. Do you want to create transactions for the projects you create in Zoho Projects? You can now integrate Zoho Books with Zoho Projects and create transactions for tasks, task lists and milestones created in Zoho Projects. Let's learn more about it. In this video, we'll cover the following topics. First, let's learn how to set up the integration. Log into Zoho Books. Go to Settings and click Zoho Apps from Integrations and Marketplace. Click Connect next to Zoho Projects. In this page, click Connect Now. Select the portal name. Select the modules that you wish to sync with Zoho Books. Select a date and the timesheets before the selected date will be imported as invoiced. Click Import All Timesheets as Unbuild if you need all timesheets imported as Unbuild. In the next section, choose the Customer Duplication Preference. If you choose Clone, a customer will be created in Zoho Books using the primary client details and you will also retain the existing customer. If you choose Overwrite, the existing customer's details will be overwritten with the primary client's details. Mark this checkbox to restrict users from creating and importing projects in Zoho Books and all the finance applications of the same organization. Once done, click Next to proceed. Here, you can view the default field mapping. If you have any custom fields, you can map them. Click Save and Sync to proceed. You will be navigated to the Sync Details page where the progress of the sync will be shown. Once the sync is done, the project data will be shown in the Time Tracking module. As you have done with the setup, let's learn how the integration works. To sync the project, you will have to add the primary client to your Zoho Projects portal and associate that client with the project you need to create a transaction for. Let's see how to do it. Go to your Zoho Projects portal and select the project for which you need to create transactions. To create a primary client, click the More icon and select Organize tabs. Enable Finance and click Save. Click Add Primary Client. If you have the client saved in your portal, you can select from this drop-down and make them as a primary client. To create a new client company, click Add New Client Company. Enter the client company name and click Add as primary client. You can also add primary clients from the user tab and settings. Now, the primary clients will be associated with the project and the project will be synced automatically to Zoho Books. If you need to create only invoices, quotes and expenses, you can do it directly from Zoho Projects. Click the drop-down and select the transaction you need to create. For the purpose of the video, we will be creating a quote. Click Create Quote. Check if all the details entered are correct and select the items. Once done, click Save and Submit or Save. The quote will be synced to Zoho Books and you can view, send, and convert it to an invoice from the Quotes module in Zoho Books. You can create invoices for milestones, tasks, and task list from Zoho Projects. 
For that, you'll have to enable invoicing for milestones and tasks from Zoho Project's integration preferences. To create an invoice for a milestone, select a milestone and navigate to the Invoices tab. Click Create Invoice. Select an end date or a date range for invoicing. Entities to be shown in the item description. and the line item amount preference. Then click save. You will be redirected to the invoice creation page. Check all the necessary details and click save to proceed. To create an invoice for a task list, select the tasks and click create invoice. Select an end date or a date range for invoicing. Entities to be shown in the item description. And the line items amount preference. Click save and you will be redirected to the invoice creation page. Check all the necessary details and click save to proceed. To create an invoice for a task, select a task and click Create Invoice. Select an end date or a date range for invoicing, entities to be shown in the line item description and the line item amount preference. Click Save and you will be redirected to the invoice creation page. Check all the necessary details and click save to proceed. The invoices created from Zoho projects will be synced to the Zoho Books invoices page. To create a transaction for the project synced from Zoho projects, go to Zoho Books and navigate to projects in the time tracking module. Select the project you need to create a transaction for. To create a transaction, click the drop down and select the transaction you need to create. For this video, we will be creating an invoice. To create an invoice, click Create Invoice. Select a date up to which you need to build the project or select a date range. Mark the checkbox if you are billing all the time entries associated to the project. Select the data sorting preference and the entities to be shown along with the item, name and description. Mark the checkboxes to include all unbilled expenses associated with the project and all bills associated with the project. Once done, click Add to proceed. Check all the necessary details and click save to proceed. The invoice will be created for the project and you can view it under the invoices module. Let's look into some other actions in the Zoho project integration. Go to settings and navigate to Zoho apps in integrations. Click Show Details next to Zoho Projects. To configure the Customer Duplication Preferences, click the gear icon under Integration Preferences. Enable the Toggle button to restrict project creation in Zoho Books. To view Sync History, click Show Sync History. Click View Mapped Fields to view default field mapping and to map or edit the custom fields mapping.
To initiate a sync, click Instant Sync. An automatic sync will be initiated every 3 hours. To remove the integration temporarily, click Disable Integration. To delete the integration permanently, click the trash icon. So that's all about Zoho Projects integration with Zoho Books. Thanks for watching.